All right, what's good with y'all, bro? So today we're going to be talking about how to make 808 slides that you hear in UK drill, New York drill, whatever you want to call it, all the drill beats. I'm going to show y'all the easiest way to do the slides, bro. The first thing you got to do is pick the right 808. I got a ghosty 808 right here. All right. This is called the um, ghosty 808. I got it from this pack right here. It's a UK drill drum, drum kit or whatever. But yeah, first thing you want to do is make sure it's an 808 that don't got no kick to it. It don't got to have no punch, no kick to it. Just sub, all right? So listen real quick. You hear it? There's no kick to it. It's just all bass. Next thing you want to do is go to envelope and do what you would normally do with 808s. Turn everything down except for the hold. And you should get like a square box like this right here. Next thing we're going to do is make sure we find the right key to whatever we're making. I don't have like a melody or anything set up. I'm just showing you how to do the slides and I'm gonna be working in D minor. So just make sure everything is in key. All right, so now that we got everything in key, all right, we got D, D minor and then we got the 808 set up. Now we just gotta make our pattern. So I'm gonna start off, you know, doing like a regular 808 pattern real quick. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna start, you know, showing y'all how to actually do the slides and all that. But the first step, the first thing you wanna do is just make a regular 808 pattern as if you weren't doing any slides. All right, so this is the pattern that I got, you know, the first step, just making a regular uh, 808 pattern. That's what I came up with. All right, so after that, the next step is to start making the slides. So it's three different steps to making slides. The first step is to figure out where you want the slide to happen. So you got to listen to your pattern a couple times and figure out, you know, the best ways to, uh, you know, the best times to actually put the slide there. So I'm going to listen real quick. All right. So I want a slide to happen right here. That's where I paused it. At. So the second step is to cut from, you know, the uh, root pattern of the 808. You cut right there, wherever you want the slide to happen, just make a cut. So. I want it to happen right there, so I'm gonna make a cut right here, all right? That's the second step. The third step is to put the slide there and line it up with the, you know, where you put the cut at. This is where we, I want the slide to happen, and I just gotta find a note that's gonna sound good when it slides. Um, and that's why you gotta make sure everything is in key. You can't just do random slides and you can't just have you know random notes everywhere it's not gonna sound right so i want to put i want to put it right here and i want it to be like a short slide the shorter you make the uh actual slide the you know the faster it's gonna slide up and slide right back down the whole key to a slide is for it you know it to go from right here to right here then jump right back down so because i want this to be a slide i'm gonna just double click it and then hit this right here that's gonna make it slide and then whenever I want to put another slide, I can just click this and then, you know, put it right here, right here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to show you all what this sound like real quick. All right. So that's our first slide right there. OK. Now, if we want to get, you know, real crazy with it, we can put another one right here. And all we have to do, like I said, line it up to where you want it to begin. Go to the root, all right, the root pattern down here, and just cut right there, all right? And you're going to hear both of these slides. All right, now, if I, if I didn't do this cut right here, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. If you don't do the cut at the same time you want the slide to happen, you're not going to hear it. You see how we only heard this one instead of doing a cut. All right. So that's how you do it. You know, the little slides when you have it going back and forth like that. So that's the three step, 
you know method right there all you got to do is pick where you want the slide to happen identify that you know that's what i did right here make the cut i did that right here this was already a cut because you know at when we made this this was already the beginning of you know a new 808 right here and then you just place the slide at the same time as you made the cut right here all right and then like i said you can make it shorter so i'm gonna make these i'm gonna make this one right here short shorter than these and you're gonna hear the difference so let's say i take this and go to like a and because we i got two cuts right here and i got one right here so i can just place this a on one of those three i'm gonna just put it right here and then just make it shorter like that so i put one more slide right here at the end of this little you know couple bars and I got a cut right here, so we're gonna hear this slide, but this is shorter than this one, so I'm gonna just show y'all how it sounds when it's, you know, a little bit shorter than the other ones. All right, so the difference right there is it just slides up faster and it goes back down a little faster, but it sounds sharper. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna add variety to your whole pattern. So I'm gonna finish this out doing the, you know, the three steps that I just showed y'all, and then I'm gonna play y'all the final pattern after everything. so this is the pattern that i came up with um i'm gonna play it for y'all like i said i ain't make no melody or no full beat with this but i'm just showing y'all how the slides work and how the method that i just you know showed y'all work i ain't saying i created this method or not but you know this is the best way it worked for me and i got the most control out of you know where i want the slides to happen with this method so i'm gonna play it for y'all real quick <laughs> all right and you know just to confirm again like i said every time you see a slide every time you see a slide over here it's a note down here that's happening at the same time so i can can you know control exactly when i want it to happen and we got different sizes going on so we got the first one is a little bit you know longer than these other two slides and then these three is a little bit longer than these shorter slides over here all right but that's it for the tutorial, bro. I hope that shit helped. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that. You feel me?